of Halloween festivities around Southern Oregon are in full swing right now. NBC 5's Laura Cavanaugh joins us live from Ashland. So Laura, how spooky are things really getting out there? Christine, not very spooky at all. Really, it's actually pretty electric down here. Walk with me for a second. Now, traffic is still here on Main Street, but look at this. Dozens of revelers, costume-clad revelers still lingering with the Halloween spirit. Now, the rain has let up, but earlier today during the parade, there was a steady rain, but that did not scare away costume parade uh, goers from actually taking part in this parade. Take a look. From pirates to princesses to superheroes, caravans of creative clad revelers march down Main Street Wednesday afternoon. There are just so many wonderful creative costumes. A soggy stroll, not even Mother Nature and a steady rain, kept people away. Rain wouldn't stop me from coming. It's tradition for Zach Kulov, who has been coming to the parade with his family for the last six years. Creativity, you know, just the ambiance, the energy, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Memories Jessica Ballard is passing on to her brood of little ones. It's definitely something I want to do with my kids, pass on generations. An estimated 6,000 people took to the streets in Ashland in kid-friendly costumes. Last year, the Chamber of Commerce canceled the parade at first, concerned of the adult undertones it was taking. But the parade was reinstated and refocused as kid-friendly. I'm really glad that Ashland's making a Halloween parade friendly to all kids. Now we are back here live. Now as the sun goes down, this parade celebration actually takes a turn towards some more adult fun. But you know, before we do that, this Wonder News woman has a partner in crime. Take a look at Mateo here. Mateo is Batman, my super Justice League friend. Did you have a good time today, Mateo? Can you show me what you got in terms of trick-or-treating? Can you show me the stash you got, sweetheart? Ooh, what do you have here? Ooh, we've got some um, Whoppers. What, what's your favorite with some Reese's? What else? Um. A whole bunch of candy. Whole bunch of candy. Worth it, right? All right, so now Mateo's going to go uh, and go to bed. But as you can see over here, there are a lot of adult, teen, young adult revelers here in the plaza if you take a look behind me. And that's why patrols of at least 30 police officers are actually converging on the downtown plaza. They plan uh, patrols from Ashland, Medford, Talon, and Phoenix to make sure that they curtail public intoxication and make sure things don't get too rowdy and make sure that we have some good, clean fun. Live in Ashland, Laura Cavanaugh, NBC5 News, back to you.